Hi guys, my name is Taylor Jarvis, and today I'm going to be telling you about the importance of conserving coral reefs. According to Dr. Matt Avi Colton, the Executive Director of Coral Reef Alliance, we have lost about 14% of our entire Earth's coral reefs in the last decade, which is the equivalent to losing the entire Great Barrier Reef in 10 years. Now, sometimes called the rainforest of the sea, these Coral reefs are some of the most biodiverse places on the planet. Although they do only cover about 2% of the ocean floor, 25% of all ocean species depend on these coral reefs at some point in their life, for whether it's for food, protection, habitat, everything. So it is very, very important for us to continue to conserve these coral reefs and help them from extinction. They are causing many, many issues for humans and sea life alike. One of these issues is affecting coral reef fisheries. Millions of people and thousands of communities depend on these coral reef fisheries for their food and their sources of protein every year. As a result of climate change, coral reefs are dying off in masses and bleaching out. And this is causing major habitat loss for the species of marine life that need this coral, which is causing the species of marine life to die out. So it is predicted by 2050 that these fisheries are going to be producing 20% less yield for these communities for their food. And we are also in a huge increase right now of population. And if the population keeps increasing, this means that the yield for these fisheries are also gonna keep on decreasing. So it's gonna continue to get worse and worse if something is not done about it. Now the dying off of coral reefs has been impacting the Caribbean as well, causing there to be a major decline in the invertebrate and fish fauna there. The decreasing biodiversity in the Caribbean is caused by three species of coral from the genus Acropora. These species of coral used to be very, very abundant in the Caribbean until they were affected by climate change, disease, and the bleaching. And it's also causing a major decrease in the marine life there and nursery grounds. Corals like a forest to these marine species. If a forest is completely destroyed, so is the, the birds, the deer, the squirrels, everything in that forest. The loss of coral in this area is also greatly affecting the current flows and bays, thus causing erosion adjacent to seagrass and mangrove stands. These are only some of the, of the many, many pressing issues surrounding the loss of coral reefs and the issues can go on and on. For more information on the issues of coral reefs, there is a documentary series on Netflix called Chasing Coral, which is a very good source to continue to learn more about this decreasing in coral. No matter where we live, we can make a difference by reducing our carbon footprint, whether it's choosing reusable or recyclable items or choosing responsibly harvested seafood. It is up to us to make the decision to help these coral reefs.